dames en heren, die akademische processie sal binnenkort in beweeg. U word versoek om asseblief op te staan. Bom ma le bon tate, moloko loko wa di routeri o asepela mona ko nye kopana. Le kopela ho ema. Ladies and gentlemen, the academic procession will enter shortly. You're kindly requested to stand. By virtue of the authority entrusted to me, I constitute this assembly as a legal congregation of the University of Pretoria. During this assembly, degrees with all associated rights and privileges will be conferred to the candidates whose names appear in the program. Please take a seat. Ladies and gentlemen, I request you to, to join us in a silent prayer or meditation to give thanks for the achievement of our students and candidates. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, I would like to, to welcome uh, the Dean of the Business School, Professor Mtombeni. I would like to welcome our honorable guest, for the Chancellor's Medal, Dr. Ruel Koza. I'd like to, to welcome uh, the Deputy Dean, Professor Louise Whitaker. And of course, uh, I'd like to welcome Dr. Matecha on my left here uh, for performing the honorable job of holding our graduates. To all chairpersons of schools, executive members, heads of departments, directors, uh, all the emeriti and honorary professors, all our teaching staff and their spouses, I welcome you to this uh, auspicious occasion and of course, I welcome our student representative uh, council that will be here, that is here as well, and will be performing some duties with the honorary colors for, for students. 
And, and our special guest today, our graduates, you remain very special. We welcome you here. I'm sure this is a very joyous moment for you. Um, and, and I know that your spouses are here, your parents are here, and all the other you know, sponsors, people that supported you through this journey. Because uh, I know what happens at Gibbs. They smile. <laughs> they smile when they inflict pain on you. <laughs> so, but thank you that you've been resilient and that you will now pass the stage and receive recognition. I will now request the Dean to introduce to me the candidate for the presentation of the Chancellor's Medal. Ndawin, good afternoon, everybody. Good, good afternoon, Vice Chancellor. Um, before I introduce the candidate, I think it's worthwhile for me just to spend a few seconds explaining the significance of the Chancellor's Award. The Chancellor's Award, unlike the honorary doctorate, which is domain specific, the Chancellor's Award looks beyond your domain and looks to your impact in society across multiple domains. So it is against that context, Vice Chancellor and Principal, that I have the honor to introduce one of my heroes and uh, all the MBA students that I have taught when we talk about responsible leadership will recognize the work of Dr. Ruel Koza. Dr. Ruel Koza is a distinguished Africanist, a thought leader, a business leader, president of the Institute of Directors of South Africa, public speaker, change agent at the forefront of transformation in the South African political economy. Madam Vice-Chancellor, Rather, Mr. Vice Chancellor, I did remind him that he did get into trouble with the former President Zuma in this regard. He has been hailed as a role model in respect of duties and responsibilities as a citizen can and should assume in the public and national interest. Dr. Koza has over 40 years of executive management experience and currently serves as the chairman of ZANA Investments, Asupol Group, and Discovery Bank. He is the author of Attuned Leadership. He led Africa lead. He is the author also of The African in My Dream and The Power of Governance. And he's not finished. I am told there are a few other books that are currently under publication uh, with Macmillan, which Mr. Vice Chancellor, whose CEO is a Gibbs MBA alum. He's also an avocado farmer with a deep love for writing lyrics and producing music. He can talk, if you wish, if you give him more than the seven minutes he's allowed, at length about how he decolonized choral music when he was a student, for which I know he also got into trouble. Formerly Dr. Koza served as chairman of Nedbank Group, and he was also chairman of the leading energy company in its time, when he was chairman. Since then, Ishkom. At the time, he was chairman of ESCOM Holdings. He was also chairman of JC, JSC Limited, IBM South Africa, Liberty Life Group, Standard Bank Group, NAMPAC Limited, Old Mutual Limited. He has been involved in the formulation of the King Codes of Corporate Governance, King 2, 3, and 4, 
serving as Mervyn's deputy in the last two instances. Dr. Koza was recently inducted into Thinker's 50 Hall of Fame. In June 2020, he received a Lifetime Achievement Award from the All Africa Business Leader Awards in tandem with CNBC Africa. In August 2022, he was presented a Lifetime Achievement Award from the Black Agencies Network Association. What the laudation doesn't say is that Dr. Koza also has three honorary doctorates in addition to his PhD, which he earned. Vice Chancellor, I request you to present the Chancellor's Medal to the candidate. I hereby present the Chancellor's Award with all its associated rights and privileges on the candidate. Thank you, Mr. Dean, for that introduction. And now that uh, the formalities have you know, been concluded in this part, I am now unleashing a missile. <laughs> no, don't worry. Just sit down. Yeah. We, we now give uh, Dr. Koza a platform to address this assembly. Thank you. Interim Vice Chancellor and Principal, Professor T. Masia, Dean, Professor M. Tombeni, Deputy Dean, Professor Louise Whitaker, the graduandi who are receiving master's degrees as well as doctorates, the Student Representative Council representative, members of the Gibbs Executive Committee, and finally, my family, friends, and relatives, particularly my spouse, of 51 years standing. <clears throat> Mamsi Mwateledi Koza, because when he got married, she decided to adopt my surname. Cicero opines, gratitude is not only the greatest of virtues, but the parent of all others, close quote. To which Saint Ambrose adds, no duty is more urgent than that of returning things. For this occasion, I owe a debt of gratitude to several persons and personalities First and foremost, my deep sense of gratitude goes to Professor Maurice Mtombeni, Dean of the University of Pretoria's Gordon Institute of Business Science, his colleagues, and the Chancellor, who deemed it appropriate 
to confer on me this Medal of Honor. In recent times, Harvard Business School, which is one of my alma maters, and Stanford Business School showed me very rare homage. However, Mark 6, verse 4 proclaims, I quote, But Jesus said unto them, A prophet is not without honor, but in his own country, and among his own kin, and in his own house. Close quote. In this regard, for being so counterintuitive, my gratitude to the University of Pretoria defies limits. It is the crowning honor to be honored at home. May I proceed to briefly thank two categories of persons who have been crucial during my formative years, namely my parents and my teachers. My parents for birthing and socializing me in the noble philosophy of Ubuntu, albeit embellished and laced up with aspects of the Christian faith. My grandfather, for imbuing me with a diligence and a commendable work ethic. His dictum was, don't rest unless you are tired. Resting is a state you earn by dint of being tired. Those who rest without being tired are not resting they are being indolent. My aunt, Catherine, for supreme financial support and spiritual grounding. My dad, for his positive Pygmalion effect on me. Aristotle, however, advises, quote, those who educate children well are more to be honored than parents, for parents only essentially gave life. Teach us the art of living. Close quote. On which Henry Adams elucidates thus, quote, a teacher affects eternity. He or she can never tell where he is or her influence stops, close quote. In this regard, I would like to briefly pay homage to the following teachers. One, J. Russell Saudi, BSc, BD, and he had these qualifications in the 1950s and was my principal at primary school. I would like to remember him for subtle inspiration, giving credence to the dictum, deeds speak. They speak in a language that is understood by everyone. Next, one DJ, DZ James Tebule for outstanding character building. Teachers who know what their duty is go beyond teaching subject matter and mold and shape character. For that, I would like to thank one DZ James Tebule who taught me at secondary school. I would also like to thank one Norman Shipalana, my math teacher, for exposing me to a graduation ceremony at the age of 16. And finally, where teachers are concerned, one Professor Moshen Kondo for epitomizing my idea or conception of the learned African, and for being a fountain of inspiration for countless students in the 1960s and 1970s at the then University of the North, now University of Limpopo, and later much further afield. 
I would like to say a few things about this particular professor as symbolic of what I believe learned people should actually exude. Professor Nkondo exudes the following, knowledgeability, that trait of utilizing knowledge and experience with common sense and deep insight. Principled courage, scholarly stance and integrity, earnest sustainable endeavor to achieve clarity and precision in his spoken and written communication. A wholesome sense of values and the courage with which to defend them. Good taste, which can be applied as a yardstick in making moral, social, and aesthetic judgments. Honest, objective effort, not only to understand the nature of problems in his society, but to compassionately comprehend what distinguishes them from those of other societies. And finally, in terms of his attributes, full acceptance of the responsibility to look squarely at the world and its problems with courage and hope and not with fear and rejection. In a very real sense, what the likes of Professor Mushan Kondo personify is what the African intelligentsia should espouse. I exhort you to do so too. To round up my multifaceted gratitude for my earnest endeavor at authorship, I have President Tabombeki to thank in January 2000, Tabombeki threw down the gauntlet to South Africa's intelligentsia by posing the question, where is our intelligentsia? Why are they not publishing books and informative research papers? To which I responded by publishing Let Africa Lead, The Power of Governance, and Attuned Leadership Inter Alia. Currently, Penguin Press is about to publish my latest book titled The Spirit of Leadership. UKZN Press is about to publish a three-volume compendium jointly collated and edited with Professor Mushan Kondo titled The South African Handbook of Agency, Freedom and Justice. Thanks to national leaders who challenge and inspire. May I conclude by making a commentary on where I believe we are and whether we are headed as a nation, as a political economy. During the past three decades of South Africa's uh, democratic era, the citizenry has experienced several identifiable dispensations. Nelson Mandela's iconic leadership, Tabombeki's technocracy, and uh, his uh, fame as the Renaissance man, Kalim Mutlante's transient caretaker government, Jacob Zuma's pre-Bendalism, which rapidly morphed into virtual kleptocracy and Cyril Ramaphosa's dispensation, which is characterized by debilitating indecisiveness and a lack of implementation. Be that, <laughs> be that as it may, there are, however, grounds for optimism. If we accept the categorical imperative to take a direct hand in public affairs for the good of the nation. In short, to build a prosperous South Africa 
that realizes its full human potential, we must get involved in civic and political action. We must go so far as to prescribe who should lead us as well as proscribe who shouldn't. We need to remind ourselves that if we leave piloting to public affairs and the state machinery ent entirely to politicians, we are trusting those who may not deserve it. The online etymology dictionary notes that the word politician has overtones meaning one concerned with public affairs for the sake of profit or for the sake of a clique. We could repair infrastructure and restore competitiveness if the will and the vision are there. What we need are the categorical imperatives of responsible nationhood. We owe it to ourselves to arrest the slide into anarchy. We must advance the values, the values that will make us, once again, as we were in the era of liberation and the subsequent 15 years, self-confident, free agents, and exponents of justice and progress. Once again, to the University of Pretoria and Gibbs, I would like to express my gratitude and state without fear of contradiction that my gratitude knows no limit. I thank you. Uh, thank you, Dr. Koza. Before I make very brief remarks, I wish to acknowledge the presence of uh, Professor Maluleke, who has gone to exile away from us to TUT as Vice Chancellor. We expect him back at the Center for Advanced Scholarship soon. <laughs> Professor, are you good? I wish to, to thank uh, Dr. Koza for this inspiring address. Um, for those of you who don't know, he's always been like that. Now with age, he's slowing down. He was in a different class, a class of his own, way back. We, I know we invited him to some graduation ceremonies as a guest speaker. Uh, in my previous life and uh, and if we were in church I would say amen because he he spoke a little bit about Professor Moshen Kondo who has also been our teacher and like you know everyone else he's aging now but his mind is, is very sharp, you know? I mean, he really surprised me. You know, it's public knowledge that I was doing an independent assessment at UNISA. So I found him there as a member of council. And what a pleasure to, to just see his sharpness and his clarity as uh, Dr. Koza says. So you find those people who are cast from a different stone. And thank you very much for, for your address. It's truly inspiring. We know that uh, you have been working selflessly for this country and its people and the continent. And may God bless you and keep you. I will now request the Dean to introduce to me candidates 
whose names appear in the program. Thank you, Vice Chancellor. We are about to release, we call our graduates magicians. We are about to release them from magical school. But I must say that I know they can show true appreciation, especially to somebody who speaks truth to power. So can we please stand up and thank Dr. Koza one more time for his amazing words that speak truth to power. Thank you, magicians. Vice Chancellor, you would have noticed the sea of red in front, so it is my distinct pleasure uh, to introduce the supervisors who will in turn introduce their doctoral candidates. The supervisors will come onto the podium in turn according to the order determined by the program, but allow me to introduce Professor Charlene Liu. Mr. Interim Vice Chancellor and Principal, I introduce to you Mark James Lamberti, who has complied with the requirements for the degree Doctor of Business Administration with a thesis titled Exploring Post-Retirement Role Identity Emergence in Co Public Company CEOs Prepared Under My Supervision. In this thesis, the candidate employed the ideographic focus of interpretive phenomenological analysis and abductive reasoning to design this self-relevant research. The research explores the retirement process of the public company CEO, an under-researched retiree category whose work role salience and resources amplify retirement transition discontinuities relative to other retirees. The data reveal linkages between interrelated contiguous and recursive processes during phases of liminality and emergence. The findings reveal how the respondents' epiphanies and role identity cues precipitated a contemporaneous evaluation of available resources to address them, giving rise to sense-making, identity enactment, and identity narrative construction. The function of often non-conscious underlying identity motives in guiding these cognitions and, and processes appeared. The study offers a novel theory on how the realignment, reinterpretation, reprioritization, discovery, and replacement of identity motives mitigate the stress of threats to retiree identity standards. Mr. Interim Vice Chancellor and Principal, I request you to confer the degree on the candidate. I hereby confer the degree, Doctor of Business Administration, with all its associated rights and privileges on the candidate. Mr. Vice Chancellor and Principal, I introduce to you Khatane Polina Mamakobo, who has complied with the requirements for the degree of Doctor of Business Administration with a thesis titled The Relationship Between Individual Cultural Identity and Technology Adoption in Urban Farming in South Africa, prepared under my supervision and with Professor Helena Barnard as co-supervisor. In this thesis, the candidate investigated the relationship between individual cultural identity and the adoption of technology. This groundbreaking study acknowledges technology adoption as a multifaceted socio-cultural process. 
revealing that it is not solely about usability, but is deeply entwined with our core identity. It offers an individual level perspective, anchoring technology adoption as a deeply individualized process. The research explores the intersection of cultural identity and technology adoption through a meticulous analysis of 38 South African urban fibers and in-depth interviews with a carefully selected subset. Four distinct cultural identity archetypes were identified, strategist, adaptivist, innovationist, and traditionalist, each representing a new, unique approach to technology adoption along a continuum. This work enriches cultural contracts theory by introducing non-signing cultural contracts, shedding light on the dynamic and ongoing negotiation of technology adoption shaped by cultural identity, and it provides a valuable framework for aligning technology interventions with individuals' diverse cultural identities. Mr. Vice Chancellor and Principal, I request you to confer the degree on the candidate. I hereby confer the degree, Doctor of Business Administration, with all its associated rights and privileges on the candidate. Mr. Interim Vice Chancellor and Principal, I, int I introduce to you Kangisa Brenda Nguna, who has complied with the requirements with the degree Doctor of Business Administration with a thesis titled Brand Attributes and Personal Values that Shape Millennials' Legitimacy but Judgments of Clothing Brands Amid a Global Crisis. The study was prepared under my supervision with the appreciated co-supervision of Professor Johan Willefeer. In her thesis, the Promovendus explored millennial consumers' clothing brand choices post the COVID-19 pandemic that caused immense uncertainty in the markets for consumers and retailers alike. The three-phase research was grounded in Schwartz's 10-value typology. It implemented a qualitative Delphi technique an online focus group discussion, and a comprehensive online means in chain analysis procedure as part of an association pattern technique. The study concludes that hedonism and security are the predominant personal values that direct millennials' legitimacy judgments amid trying circumstances, emphasizing their desire to experience pleasurable buying experience where they feel content. Clear recommendations are presented for retail to secure retailer survival should a crisis reoccur. Mr. Interim Vice Chancellor, I request you to confer the degree on the candidate. I hereby confer the degree, Doctor of Business Administration, with all its associated rights and privileges on the candidate. Mr. Vice Chancellor and Principal, I introduce you to Emmanuel Assembo, who has complied with the requirements for the degree of Doctor of Business Administration with a thesis titled Understanding the Management of Internal Tensions Between Mandates and Mission in Small and Medium Social Enterprises. Prepared under my supervision and with Dr. Lauren Jankalovitz as co-supervisor. 
In this thesis, the candidate investigated how social enterprises simultaneously align multiple goals stemming from multiple external mandates and a core social mission. Despite the acknowledged risk of mission drift in pursuing dual social commercial goals, there is limited research on aligning these. The thesis used inductive multiple cases drawing findings from five purposely sampled South African small and medium social enterprises. The thesis makes a novel contribution to the emergent social enterprise literature by introducing a model for internal external practicing, illustrating how the interplay of practicing and dynamic artifacts enables simultaneous ambidexterity in aligning multiple mandates with social missions. Mr. Interim Vice Chancellor and Principal, I request you to confer the degree on the candidate. I hereby confer the degree, Doctor of Business Administration, with all its associated rights and privileges on the candidate. Mr. Interim Vice-Chancellor and Principal, I introduce to you Paula Audrey Buschel, who has complied with the requirements of the degree Doctor of Philosophy with a thesis titled Development and Validation of the Collective Grid Scale Prepared Under My Supervision. In this thesis, the candidate developed and statistically validated an instrument to measure grit in teams. Despite growing interest in team grit, no scale to measure it existed. The research employed a multi-method scale development approach. Through qualitative focus groups, the researcher developed an initial item pool. Four subsequent waves of quantitative factor analysis resulted in a purified eight item scale. In further analysis, team grit appeared to be discriminant from individual grit. The research shows that the team goal commitment and team psychological safety are antecedents of team grit, and the team grit predicts team work engagement and team innovation. The team grit scale is invariant across geographies. The research expands the team grit theoretical domain and provides a valuable tool to measure team grit. Mr. Vi Interim Vice-Chancellor and Principal, I request you to confer the degree on the candidate. I hereby confer the degree Doctor of Business Administration with all its associated rights and privileges on the candidate. Mr. Vice-Chancellor and Principal, I introduce you to Marna Landman, who has complied with the requirements for the degree Doctor of Philosophy with a thesis titled Evaluating the Impact of Commitment and Flexibility Preferences on the Saving Behavior of Individuals who Perceive Financial Scarcity Prepared Under My Supervision. In her thesis, the candidate conducted an online randomized control experiment to explain how opposing preferences for commitment and flexibility affect saving intentions and actions. The study was grounded in decision theory on intertemporal choices under uncertainty, and data was collected among 405 South African residents who earn an income but perceive financial scarcity. Multiple linear regression and heterogeneity analyses were conducted to evaluate the effects of two experimental treatments across two subgroups and over three periods. Both treatments were effective in increasing saving intention immediately after the experiment. Intertemporal saving intention was the most stable and continued to increase during the 30 days following the experiment 
for individuals with no or initial saving intent. This resulted in smaller saving intention action gaps for this subgroup compared to those individuals with high initial saving intent. These multidimensional results are collated in a proposed framework for designing personalized saving behavior interventions when financial scarcity is perceived. Mr. Vice Chancellor and Principal, I request you to confer the degree on the candidate. I hereby confer the degree, Dr. Bin's administration, with all its associated rights and privileges on the candidate. Mr. Vice Chancellor and Principal, I introduce you to Mishloti Bridget Masuleke, who has complied with the requirements for the degree Doctor of Philosophy with the thesis titled State Capture and its Effects on Institutional Isomorphism and Deinstitutionalization Prepared Under My Supervision. In this thesis, the candidate found that state capture led to financial distress and the collapse of historically strong entities. This research is important due to the high volume and unique sources of data collated on corrupt behavior in South Africa. Data was collected from the ultra elite implicated in state capture, whistleblowers, academia, board members, executives, and parliamentarians. The study reveals that parallel shadow networks manipulated the governance of the constitutional state systematically, notwithstanding sound governance frameworks. Despite growth in theorists studying corruption, the scourge remains a global challenge. The study contributes to the body of knowledge by resuscitating scholarly debates on institutional theory, a theory that has matured and gone beyond its purpose using the under-theorized modern phenomenon of state capture. The findings led to the development of a typology model for state capture, which details how shadow networks gained and sustained capture over time. Mr. Vice Chancellor and Principal, I request you to confer the degree on the candidate. I hereby confer the degree of Doctor of Philosophy in its administration with all its associated rights and privileges. Mr. Interim Vice Chancellor and Principal, I introduce to you Manko Dimuyitse, who has complied with the requirements for the degree Doctor of Philosophy with a thesis titled The Entrepreneur's Experiences of Access to Resources in the Entrepreneurial Ecosystem Prepared Under My Supervision. Kara <laughs> wa masumi pedi tlhano ba technology ya tshedimosho le dikgokagano mo gauteng Afrika borwa nyankishisho ya gagwe e dira kabelo empya le go tsweletsa pele dithuto tsa boragwebo ka go bontsha megwa yeo boragwebo ba shupang ba gethang le go gokagana le ba tsia karolo ba bangwe mo tukulugong ya boragwebo in English, the thesis reads as follows. The candidate investigated the mechanisms entrepreneurs deploy in an underdeveloped entrepreneurial ecosystem and resource-constrained environment. 
despite many entrepreneurial ecosystem research studies that aim to enhance its theory, the perspective of entrepreneurs' access to resources in the entrepreneurial ecosystem have received limited attention. The thesis used an interpretive phenomenological approach interviewing 25 information technology and communications entrepreneurs in Gauteng, South Africa. The thesis drew on resource dependency theory. It makes a novel contribution highlighting the entrepreneur's agency through identifying, selecting, and linking with other entrepreneurial ecosystem act actors to access resources. Further, the thesis introduces a model of entrepreneurs' experiences of access to resources in the entrepreneurial ecosystem. Mr. Interim Vice Chancellor and Principal, I request you to confer the degree on the candidates. Let, let's try this. Kiamohela Mituti, Lungalon Labangaka, a philosophy, Lady Huevo. Moko Liti Tukelo, the Mineta, Yalungaloli. Follow on from there. <laughs> Mr. Interim Vice Chancellor and Principal, I introduce to you Richard Kevin Mulder, who has complied with the requirements for the degree Doctor of Philosophy with a thesis titled Experiencing Followership During Global Crisis Followership in Healthcare Amidst COVID 19 prepared under my supervision and Prof. Johan Ulefir as co-supervisor. In this thesis, the candidate examined the impact of crises on followership from the follower's perspective. Despite the presence of outstanding leadership, failures in business abound. Followership is proposed as an avenue to address this. However, a notable paucity of followership research is conducted through the follower lens. This study, conducted as a longitudinal, inductive, explanatory study, was grounded on implicit followership theories. It drew on findings of the lived experiences from 35 in-depth interviews of 15 purposefully sampled healthcare executives actively involved in the COVID-19 response in South Africa. The analysis harnesses a hermeneutic phenomenological methodology which reveals that followership is a dynamic process influenced by the context in which it is constructed. The thesis extends followership theory and adds the importance and nuance that context and the voice of followers themselves bring to the follower-leader dynamic. Mr. Interim Vice-Chancellor and Principal, I request you to confer the degree on this candidate. I hereby confer the degree of Philosophy Business Administration with all its associated rights and privileges on the candidate.
Mr. Interim Vice Chancellor and Principal, it is my privilege to present uh, to introduce you to Desmond Tutu Rao, who has compiled with the requirements of the degree Doctor in Philosophy with a thesis titled Perceived Supervisory Support, Regulatory Focus, and Intellectual Stimulation during a change in initiative, evidence from Kenya. The thesis was prepared under my supervision and with the co-supervision of Professor uh, Karen Skipper. In this thesis, the promovendus examined the mediating effect of regulatory focus on the relationship between intellectual stimulation uh, and perceived supervisory support during a change initiative. The study was grounded in organizational support theory. A qualitative cross-sectional online survey was used to uh, collect data among 174 employees of a Kenyan organization undergoing a change initiative. The, the mediation analysis results reveal that while promotion focus or orientation is linked to increased uh, perceived supervisory support, prevention focus orientation is not linked. In addition, the promotion focus, the mediation test reveals uh, the likelihood of omitted mediators between intellectual stimulation and perceived supervisory support. The results confirm the role of re uh, regulatory orientation as a boundary condition uh, that governs reciprocity norms during a change initiative. Mr. Vice Chancellor, Interim Vice Chancellor and Principal, I request that you confer the degree on the candidate. I hereby confer the degree, Doctor of Philosophy, Business Administration, with all its associated rights and privileges. candidates uh, receiving the top awards. Can we do the master's graduation first? You want the awards first? Ooh. I, have, I don't have those students. I have the master's ones first, Vice Chancellor. We can, we can play arm wrestling. You agree. He's the boss. You are fine. Okay, let's do that. <laughs> we will now um, request the dean to introduce to us um, candidates to be conferred with uh, degrees. Thank you. So, so whilst the candidate is warming up and she can jump onto uh, the block here, I, I do want to say. If you have a moment, please read this, the examiners of the doctoral candidates. You'll notice they're top scholars from all over the world. And that suggests to you that the quality of the doctorates, doctoral candidates, in fact, the doctors today is of a high standard. And I also want you to observe, it doesn't matter how young you were, how not so young you were, that this is within reach. And I want to take this opportunity to once again inspire the rest of us who are graduating in blue to seek to graduate in red in the next four or five years by congratulating them. And then to those that are following, please watch, um, if you can give me your name, please watch how Paul is standing Mpo is standing looking at the camera in a block. And in order for Mpo to actually graduate, she has passed the vice chancellor who will cap her and others. And so please don't forget to be capped by the vice chancellor. And you will notice we are an inclusive university. We speak in one of the university's official languages, Sipedi. Impromptu, can we give the vice chancellor a round of applause? <laughs> 
And so once you've done that, you're almost across the stage. And let's celebrate. Today is a day of celebration. Please enjoy. And for our MBA, we begin, uh, Vice Chancellor and Principal, the following candidates have complied with all the requirements for the Master of Business Administration. I begin with Mpoh Candice Apis. Ankita Arjun. Anna Banda. Lynn Benjamin. You can clap harder. Best student in the elective corporate innovation entrepreneurship, Tendo Boy. <laughs> Ilze Botman. I will ask the candidates to help me if you think your name will be difficult for me to pronounce. Just whisper to me. But this one I think I've got. Ronnie Boa. Jenna Boker. Christopher Boyd. Best student in the elective turnaround management, Lloyd Chejo. A few, I'm going to read them all, then we'll all clap once. An award in personal resilience award in elective. An award in um, innovation and design, award in decision making, award in contextual leadership intelligence, as well as an award in leading through storytelling, and with distinction, Adesh Chetram. <laughs> Donari Karushan, we now have a PhD in followership. Uh, Karushan Chetty, congratulations. <laughs> Prenton Chetty, congratulations. Uh, our politicians earn their degree. And uh, after you've kept them, you can call them MEC, but for the moment, student Matome Chelwane, congratulations. Congratulations, Disebo. Disebo Shobokwane, congratulations. With an award for the best elective student in innovations in Africa, congratulations to Serena Chomse. Marlies Kutzer, congratulations. Abdul Cook, congratulations. Guys, remember to look at the camera. Craig Cochran, congratulations. Luan Devet, congratulations. An award in the elective Emerging Technologies and the Future of Business, Peter Deso. <laughs> Dean Didloff, congratulations. <laughs> Dean 
with an award in digital strategy and technology execution, Noreen Dinat. Congratulations. With an award for the elective in diversity and leadership, Uratile Dirang. Congratulations. Lefu Zamini, congratulations. Nelisa Doda, congratulations. Denise Durka Persad, congratulations. Maximilian Effa, congratulations. Michael Emoven, congratulations. Vali Essa, congratulations. Jacques Fury, congratulations. Joshua Fauri, congratulations. <laughs> Revai Gandhi Zwana, Gandhi Zanwa, congratulations. <laughs> Pangizai Gazi, congratulations. Beautiful surname, Gillian Gabrielwit. Congratulations. Don't dance. Congratulations. Joseph George. Congratulations. think it would be easy. Monet Gerrit, congratulations. <laughs> Avish Gokul, congratulations. Avish? Avish Gokul, congratulations. <laughs> Good afternoon. Craig Goodwin, congratulations. With an award for the best student in leadership, with an award for the best uh, MBA elective in strategy and general management, with distinction, Ryan Grunewald. With an award in negotiation and deal making, Shamal Harkison. Congratulations. She's popular. Laura Helsinger, congratulations. Congratulations. Shilpa Isaac, congratulations. Paul Janssen, congratulations. Umesh. Jagmohan, congratulations. Onaletata Cabello, congratulations. I'm going to try my French accent first answer. Felipe Kanga Yosa, congratulations.
Natasha Kapuya, congratulations. With an award for one of the courses I teach on, Environment of Business, JC Kent, congratulations. Congratulations. Stand there. Conflict of interest, one of our own. Matabo Khwadi, congratulations. Mlungisi Khomu, congratulations. Mwengezi Korombi, congratulations. Nsigayetu Kumalo, congratulations. This one doesn't even tell me how to pronounce because I've been practicing. With an award for the best student in geopolitics and grand strategy, Takana Kumalo, congratulations. Ivan Kongolo, congratulations. Bianca Kotze, congratulations. With an award for the best student in the elective advanced entrepreneurship, with an award for the best student in the elective scenario planning and strategic thinking, and of course, with distinction, Michelle Lachranche. Tyrone LaRue, congratulations. Congratulations. Thank you so much. Lekawa, congratulations. Congratulations. Mantombi Lekuleni, congratulations. Mukadikwa Lekolwane, congratulations. Congratulations. Tato Lelaka, congratulations. Marinus Leschinski, congratulations. Gareth Levinson, congratulations. congratulations. Thank you. Sarl Liebenberg, congratulations. Excellent. Silo Lin, with an award for the best MBA student, if you can just come back and I'll give you an award property. <laughs> For the best MBA student in the global module, which means you loved traveling. Congratulations. <laughs> Petrus Lawrence, congratulations. Witumelo Mabaso, congratulations. Hala la. <laughs> Charity na lady, mabidi la la. Congratulations. Victor Mabuli. Congratulations. Hola. Bruce Mabuza. Congratulations. Rumbizai Muchapu, congratulations. congratulations. With an award for the best 
elective student in strategy execution, leveraging the latest balanced scorecard approach. Mankwana uh, Machikape, congratulations. Amanda Mafuya, congratulations. Lindiwe Makitimisa, congratulations. Ajay Mahedo, congratulations. Atleho Mahapa, congratulations. Second time around, Mahapa as well. Different name though, that helps. Lidile Mahapa, congratulations. <laughs> Nabila Maharaj, congratulations. with an award for the best student in professional management consulting, Stembile Majola. Congratulations. Kitu Metsi Maketa. Congratulations. EFF. Kahiso Malema. Congratulations. Mukhadi Malova, congratulations. <laughs> Lulu Manaha, congratulations. <laughs> Tumahule Matalika, congratulations. Nicola Mare, congratulations. Congratulations, well done, thank you so much. Excellent. Rulof Mare, congratulations. Congratulations. Nandisile Marepane, congratulations. Well done, dude. Oh, uh, and Sebula was, I mean. Mkateko uh, Masingi, congratulations. Congratulations. Nokwanda Masugu, congratulations. Congratulations. Noloazi Masugu, congratulations. Tengetile Masugu, congratulations. Congratulations. Tato Matule, congratulations. congratulations. Mashadi Matloa, congratulations. Pearl Yvonne Mazibugo, congratulations. With an award in economics of organizational strategy, Vamisile Mbata, congratulations. Congratulations, Tut. Ketogwake Mnanyan, congratulations. Nsanseni Mkunu, congratulations. Hello, congratulations. Kuguya Azim Kutu, congratulations. Yeah. 
Tamsanga Mnisi. Congratulations. Wutumelo Mukhajani. Congratulations. Mohungwa Alicia, congratulations. Sinikane Mukati, congratulations. With an award for business opportunities and innovation in Africa, Kwale. Mukwatsana, congratulations. Nkululego Mukwena, congratulations. Refilwe Mukune, congratulations. Baba Alwa Mulapisi, congratulations. Reynal Mudley, congratulations. Tabang Muoki, congratulations. Cheryl Munsami, congratulations. Lebohang Moshe, congratulations. Kotato Muswane, congratulations. Temba Muta, congratulations. Cabello Mutiane, congratulations. Mamuraka Motuahaye, congratulations. Katlejo Mutiang, congratulations. Nkosinati Mutsuane, congratulations. Angel Mpanda, congratulations. Thanks to congratulations. Sabelo Msiza, congratulations. Zianda, Gene Boxin Zianda. Zianda Mtetwa, congratulations. Pilile Mukansi, congratulations. Naren Murthy, congratulations. Kabile Mvubu, congratulations. with an award for the elective mindful leader, as well as an award for the elective diversity in leadership, Yolanda Meyerberg, congratulations. Thank you. Sherid Niker, congratulations. Jolene Naidu, congratulations.
Tyrone Naidu. Congratulations. With an award for the fellow traveler, best MBA student in the global module, Ajvir Narandes. Congratulations. Andy Le Nkoyini, congratulations. With two awards, first award, Best MBA Student in Environment of Business, a shared prize, as well as Integrated Business Simulation Award, Best MBA Student in this particular summative course, Chaolani Ndimande, congratulations. Nondu Duzon Dlovu, congratulations. <laughs> Stefan Nell, congratulations. <laughs> Furwani Nechikurwe, congratulations. We should also say conflict of interest. Famula Ngobeni, congratulations. Komape Ngwepe, congratulations. Zamambo Mvu Ngubane, congratulations. With an award in innovation and design, a core program, Mishali Nkente. Congratulations. Three awards. First, uh, best student in sales and business development. Second, best student in customer centric strategy. Finally, a shared award, strategy and general management. Onyie, Onyinye Nuaneri, congratulations. Gutala Pangwa, congratulations. Ndunduzo Parker, congratulations. With a shared award in geopolitics and grand strategy, Bradley Payne. Congratulations. <laughs> Kehilwe Pepeng. Congratulations. Thank you. In the box. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, Tracy Potriter. Congratulations. Tabata Aba, congratulations. <laughs> Rendani Rabambi, congratulations. Thank you very much. Mama Raba, congratulations. Todani Ramadolela, congratulations. Sunasan Ramlal, congratulations. We need to uplift the clapping. Mukhubi Ramushu, congratulations. Makate Horanso, congratulations. Yeah. 
No, no, for Sifemo. Congratulations. Sichaba Sipiri, congratulations. <laughs> Don't forget the cap. Calvin Sibia, congratulations. Siabuga Siko, congratulations. Tabiso Smelan, congratulations. Tumelo Singo, congratulations. Achere Sobukwe White, congratulations. Shivani Suklal with an award in business valuations and deal structures. Congratulations. <laughs> Matsidiso Tabane. Congratulations. <laughs> with a shared award in innovation and design, Werner Tessendorf. Congratulations. Levuani Teka, congratulations. Udurile Tubisi, congratulations. Mike Tusi, congratulations. <laughs> Yolanda. Chivizo, congratulations. congratulations. Johannes van Aswegen, congratulations. <laughs> Thor van Eunen, congratulations. <laughs> Heinrich Venter, congratulations. Bruno, Bruno Klimba, congratulations. Sibusisiwe Yaga, congratulations. With a shared award in the double module, Zara Yakub, congratulations. Kakarani Zengele, congratulations. Kiyuri Zukula, congratulations. Are you? Pumelele Zulu, congratulations. Yep, you indeed you are. Yeah. Vice Chancellor, I now present the students for the Master in Philosophy of Business Management with a specialization in corporate strategy. I begin with Loveness Butelezi. Congratulations. Hello. Some people like to come back for more. He was formerly an MBA graduate, and now I present Gerland Shebaya. Congratulations. <laughs> Lizzie Chivaka. Congratulations. <laughs> With an award for strategic management, which I taught, with also an award in dynamic innovation, my elective. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, George Engelbrecht. <laughs> uh, 
Um, he's still teaching me how to say his name. Duro Gibson, congratulations. <laughs> Tando Klabaza, congratulations. <laughs> Kirshni Hermanas, congratulations. <laughs> Onesimus Joseph, congratulations. Rasta Kaeka, congratulations. <laughs> Melusi Ufile Kubega, congratulations. <laughs> Itu Meleng Lekoto, congratulations. The people from Lesotho, they confuse us with their letters. It's spelled with an L, but it's pronounced D le lerato le cana. Congratulations. Sazile <laughs> Likula. Congratulations. Uba King Mabalane, congratulations. Good, welcome back. Simbarashe Mafukidze, congratulations. Tepiso Maholeng, congratulations. Nompumelelo. Makubela, congratulations. Tise to Medise, congratulations. Belina Maseta, congratulations. Lebohang Mashabela, congratulations. Ntungu Fadzeni Masindi, congratulations. Sesi Harriet Matewula, congratulations. <laughs> Lewohang Matenje, congratulations. Colin Mawelo, congratulations. Congratulations. Zugo Mbacha, congratulations. With an award in leadership negotiation and communication, Aviwe Yondi Metu. Congratulations. Thank you. With an award in Rwanda at, an at the frontier of entrepreneur entrepreneurship, innovation, and technology, Maleho Mohami. Congratulations. Kamohelo Musashedi, congratulations. Rishumile Muwa, congratulations. Okay. Sindiswa Muyikwa, congratulations.
with an award, a shared award in corporate governance, Ramadimej Ampete. Congratulations. Yoliswa Mvubu, congratulations. Congratulations. Zuzio Mwanza, congratulations. Ange, so I'm going to put my French tone into this. Ange, Gael, Ndeyua, Sungo, congratulations. But first, Ange, let's take a picture. Let's take a picture, there we go. Ange, Gael, Ndeyua, Sungo, congratulations. Eni Ndweni, congratulations. Bernard Nijeka, congratulations. Some people are resilient. Nobizita Penyane, congratulations. <laughs> Conflict of interest declared. We served on a board together with an award in environment of business, Nomvula Rakulote. Congratulations. Mposi Francis Rasishoka, congratulations. Two awards, shared award for the best student in strategic leadership and a solo award in behavior science for business impact, Alicia Ann Raynard, congratulations. with an award for disruptive technologies in the fourth industrial revolution, Ndabeleng Sitlako, congratulations. It's an awards lane with an award, it's a shared award, strategy execution, Pumzile Sivisi, congratulations. Rosemary Chombonde, congratulations. <laughs> with an award in the box, with an award in corporate purpose in the UN SDGs, Asanda Tsotsi, congratulations. Welcome back. <laughs> Two awards. Uh, no shared. First award is Venture Strategy Award. The second one, very important beyond academics, Crucial Conversations, Johannes Vermurten. Congratulations. Good afternoon. Congratulations. Tafadzwa Wudebwe. Congratulations. It was an award in critical thinking and the award in the mini dissertation in corporate strategy. Allow me to introduce Andiswa Zinja. Congratulations. Thank you. Vice Chancellor. 
uh, the following candidates have complied with all the requirements for the Masters of Business Philosophy and Business Management with a specialization in evidence-based management. These are future red people. Uh, Reshma Bula, congratulations. Congratulations, dude, thank you. Um, with an award in Introduction of Evidence-Based Management, Peter Hrobler, congratulations. Inside. Halal. Vele Makananisa. Congratulations. <laughs> hmm. I'll read it later. So, there are three awards, but I'm only reading two at the moment. The first one is Thematic Understanding Module 2, Best Student for that, Mini Dissertation Evidence-Based Management Award. Ladies and gentlemen, Dorothy Nyiga, congratulations. <laughs> Mbuyi Nzuzi, congratulations. Mr. Vice-Chancellor, the following candidates have complied the requirements for the Master of Business Philosophy, Master of Philosophy in Business Management with a specialization in international business. I begin by introducing you to Leah Cherian. Congratulations. Rhoda Chetty, congratulations. Sarui, Sayuri Dial. Sayuri Dial. Congratulations. Bongole Tu Futuse. Congratulations. Elton Katangolo. Congratulations. Tabo Kupa, congratulations. Nswaki Kutumela, congratulations. With an award for the best unit in international business for the mini dissertation, TSA Tsokwape, congratulations. Non tutu, non tutu zelo made, congratulations. <laughs> Mama Timuelane Makara, congratulations. <laughs> Zuzanani Manda, congratulations. Few awards. States and markets in the global political economy. Second award, managing the multinational corporation with distinction, Rufaro Mapanda. Congratulations. Congratulations. Runyararo Mapenda. Congratulations. Kanisa Mahau, congratulations. With an award in competitive global business strategy, Togo Zile Mkopele, congratulations. Yeah, 
Congratulations. Bridget Gugu Mtembu, congratulations. Dubugile Mukumbate, congratulations. With a shared award in corporate governance, Happy Ralinala, congratulations. <laughs> no, he's pretending as a first time info grad, he's not. <laughs> Two awards um, International Business and Emerging Markets Award, um, second award, Managing the Multinational Corporation. You might know him in another space, but today he's known as Ashur Sarupen. Congratulations. Thank you so much. It's fitting that we started in Limpopo with Dr. Koza. We're concluding in Limpopo with Risenga Shilenge. Congratulations. Vice Principal, I now present the students uh, receiving top awards. You might have noticed I had to whisper to some of them that I'm not reading this one because some get quite aggressive that you've missed an award. I wanted them to realize that we will read it later. Let's begin. And I will hand it back to you, your card. Oops, I've got them in the wrong order. The top MBA student, Ray, Ryan Grunewald. Thank you so much. Thank you. Come on, guys, you can clap louder than that. The, first, the top MPhil and Corporate Strategy student, Andy Iswa Zinja. Congratulations. <laughs> Honoring your supervisor. I've got it. The top, she, she's got two awards. She's already got the top dissertation award, but also the top MPhil student in evidence-based management, our very own teaching assistant, Dorothy Nika. Congratulations. <laughs> And we internationalize our students. The top student in MPhil in international business, Tiesetso Kwape. Congratulations. <laughs> I think I might have read that one incorrectly. Let's make sure I've got the right one. Ah, yes. That was for the mini dissertation. Is this one for the mini dissertation? Let's have a look. So, Tiseto is a top researcher. So, let's give her the right flames. <laughs> and then this guy just wipes the floor. <laughs> Rufaro Mapanda is the top international business student. Ladies and gentlemen, let's congratulate him. <laughs> We're done. I think my job is done yet, Vice Chancellor. I would now like to, to request our graduates to applaud their parents, sponsors, spouses, everyone that assisted you.
Thank you. We have now come to the end of the proceedings. And before we close, I wish to invite all present here for refreshment. Is that true, Matech? I know they say that and you just find water there. <laughs> and that is outside in the Maquis. And we are now requested to stand for the singing of the national anthem. of the powers vested in me, I hereby dissolve this assembly of the University of Pretoria. <laughs>